In today's video, I will teach you how to make business cards in GIMP. Let's get started. Start by opening GIMP and going to File, then select New to open the Create New Image window. Set the width to 3.5 inches and height to 2 inches. Then add 0.1 inch to both dimensions if you plan to have them professionally printed. Then adjust the size to 3.6 inches by 2.1 inches. And for vertical cards, swap dimensions for a vertical card layout, for example, 2 by 3.5 inches. Now click on the advanced options to expand the section. Then change the X resolution and Y resolution to 300 pixels per inch. This setting ensures your card is print quality. Now click OK to create your canvas. It might look large on your screen, but this helps with detailed editing. Now we're going to design your business card. First, it's creating new layers. Each card element should be on its own layer for easier editing. Now go to Layer, New from Visible, or simply press shift Control n and a transparent layer with the same size as your canvas will appear. An optional step is adding a background image. If you're planning on using a background image, go to File, then open its layers and select your image, then resize it and adjust it as needed. But make sure to avoid overly busy backgrounds that make text hard to read. Now we're going to add text. Each text element, for example, name, title, or contact info, should be in separate text boxes. Use the text tool from the toolbox and click and drag to create a text box, then enter your text. Then choose appropriate fonts for your business type and ensure that the text is legible. An optional step is adding a logo. To add your logo, go to File, then open its layers and select your logo file. Then adjust the logo by dragging the corners and position it appropriately on your card. Now, disable dot for dot to review the card at actual size. Then check for readability, alignment, and overall design coherence. Now, save your project as an XEF file for future edits. And to save it, go to File, then Export As, then name your file and save. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.